Team of the season may be nearly over, but you can still get your coins to get the best players in the game at ufifa.com using the code TVM at the checkout for your cheap, fast and reliable coins. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to the series where we look at FIFA 17 predicted ratings for some players who've been playing very well in real life or have been playing very badly and deserve downgrades which we'll get to shortly. There's another four players in this episode as there are usually and as always I want your opinions so let us know down in the comment section what you thought of it. Let's get into the first player. And his name is Ross McCormack, currently a 75 rated player in FIFA 16, but I firmly believe that he deserves a 77 rated card for his heroics in more or less keeping Fulham up this year. He played an average rating of 7.21, playing 48 games and making 3 substitute appearances, scored himself 23 goals, got 9 assists and got Man of the Match award 5 times. All those stats were from all competitions, not just the league, but still majority of the goals coming in the league and Fulham finished 20th this year 11 points above the uh, last team to go down which was Charlton so I firmly believe that he deserves an upgrade for more or less keeping them in the league and as we move on to the next player who is 84 rated Hulk we're going to see a big jump here. Now, 85 is very modest because of the record that he's got this year. And it's also a Champions League record that he has as well. I don't have the specific stats in front of me, but we'll get into that in a second. Average match rating of 8.13. 38 games and two substitute appearances. Scoring 23 goals. Got 20 assists, which is crazy. 12 man the match awards as well. All stats from all competitions, of course. Uh, but he's, he's got a lot in the Champions League as well. Got a lot of goals and assists in the Champions League. Proving that he doesn't just do it in a Mickey Mouse League. He does it in the Champions League as well. Hulk is one of those players where he sort of just slumped off to earn an easy living kind of thing. But he still does it and does it well. And he does it at Champions League level as well. So surely he deserves an 85 upgrade. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. And then we're going to move on to two very controversial upgrades slash downgrades. But first, of course, we need to get to that upgrade. So David De Gea, currently 86 rated on FIFA 16. And I am not a Manchester United fan by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, I support Liverpool, so I literally can't stand Manchester United. However, there is no denying that David De Gea deserves that 88 rated card. Phenomenal goalkeeper, arguably the best in the world right now. And I'm taking into consideration Neuer as well, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but his average rating this season has been a 6.72. He's played 34 games, making 76 saves, kept 7 clean sheets and he's conceded an average of 0.97 goals a game so I mean it does sound bad on paper that he's uh, almost conceding a goal a game but when you consider the Manchester United outfield it's not that bad and when you look at the highlight reel of David De Gea this year some of the saves this guy's been making is absolutely phenomenal some of them are literally breathtaking and I, like I said I'm a Liverpool fan I hate Man United but there's no denying that David De Gea deserves a huge upgrade and we've decided to go with 88 and I say we because the stats are not just compiled by me, they are compiled by Luke or Multiplayer HD as well. His link is in the description. Now, I'm not throwing him under the bus here, but this was his idea to put Manuel Neuer in an 89 rated card. And it's very difficult to see why when you look at the stats, but when you take into consideration the defence in front of him, you can kind of see where he's coming from. Currently a 90 rated card in FIFA 16. In my opinion, Manuel Neuer has always been overhyped. He's a great goalkeeper and he probably is the best in the world, but I still think he's he's been put on that pedestal now and doesn't it doesn't matter if he has a bad season, it's Manuel Neuer. And everyone goes, oh, best goalkeeper? Well, yeah, it's Neuer. You know, like, no one will ever consider another goalkeeper until Neuer retires just because of the way that well, the world works, well, the footballing world at least. He's played the same games and average rating as De Gea. He's made 41 saves this season, 20 clean sheets, and a 0.48 uh, goals conceded per game ratio. But you look at the saves, that's almost half of what De Gea has made. And that all comes down to the defence in front of Manuel Neuer. The defence in front of him is so much better than the defence in front of De Gea that it's easy to see why he doesn't concede as many goals because he doesn't have as many shots to deal with. De Gea is dealing with 70, 80 shots a season and Manuel Neuer is sat there eating his chips and reading the newspaper for the majority of the games. And that's not down to Manuel Neuer. It's not his fault. It's just the team that he plays in is far superior to the team that De Gea plays in. So there we go. I don't think De Gea is a better goalkeeper than Neuer, and that's why he's only an 88 rated. But I don't think Neuer deserves that 90 rated card anymore because he hasn't done anything spectacular to warrant it, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I want to know your opinions down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Does, does David De Gea deserve a, a higher rated or an equal rated card to Neuer? Does he deserve a lower rated card than what we've given him? Same for Neuer. Let us know down below. Speaking of us, go and check out Luke on Multiplayer HD. His link is in the description. 
description. He compiled the whole thing for me, so very thank you very much to him. If you've enjoyed it, smack that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have done so. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Till the next time, goodbye.